Hey, Dabber Dick here. Another in the series of the TG5 tutorials. The last one we serviced all of the seals and changed the battery in the card and got it ready to go back in the house. So that's ready to go. So now we're going to work on the housing. There is only one O-ring to service. Okay, what are we going to need? We're going to need some tools. We're going to need O-ring grease. There is O-ring grease that comes with it. Use it. I have some in a little pill container that I'm using. If there's no different than what comes with it. Okay, there is a tool that comes with it. You must save it. I put it back in this little plastic container just to kind of help protect it and keep it from hiding on me. This is how you, this is the pry bar to get the O-ring out, okay? You're going to need a Q-tip, perhaps. I get the ones with hard ends. This doesn't look like it, but it was once. We're going to need a lens cleaner. We're going to need a cleaning cloth and the desiccant pack to go back in it when we put it together. It comes with these desiccant packs in the package. I think you get five or six of them. Plenty to last you for a long time, just try to keep them dry. Okay, also going to have a paper towel or something just to clean your finger off and a can of, of air to blow th some things up. So let's get started. We've opened the camera up, it's open. Okay, the there's some specks of dust sitting in here. So I'm gonna go around. Now you know you don't want to hold this upside down because liquid will come out of it. it won't hurt anything. Just don't do that. Okay. Blow this all off. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my finger again with a little bit of O-ring grease just to make it slick. And I'm going to go around this seal. Now I'm going to inspect it. Now my number one assistant, Diver Alana, she kind of looks at it for me to make sure everything's okay. So this is ready. We want to clean the inside of the lens. Now I have one of these is round and one is kind of rectangular, but that helps get back in all of these little places. You don't want any smears on that. Don't touch it for sure. We can clean this the same way. This particular thing, when you put it in, you turn it like this, it refreshes and cleans the end. So you go in there and clean it. Very good. Okay, now we're going to take the O-ring out. It's real simple. See how that's made? Get down in here and hard to see it. Down in like that and left up on it. Don't use a screwdriver, or a toothpick, a knife. Don't use that. This comes with the housing. Comes with it. Don't lose it. Use it. Now, I'm feeling the O-ring. Now they're not, this one isn't very smooth to begin with. I've had them where they're a lot smoother. But, I put a little bit of O-ring grease on my finger. Not, never use too much. And I make sure that this crease in my finger has got plenty of it. And I run it through there in my thumb, right here. And I run that through there just like that. And then I'll, I just felt something. Okay, I felt something rough. So I'm going to run that on there. I have a little more grease on my finger because I wiped it off on the paper towel right there. Okay. Now sometimes I take my O ring and hang it on that. Now I take my O ring, or my O ring grease, and put some grease on this Q tip. Make it so the fuzzies don't stick out. You know what I mean on a Q-tip. Now I'm going to run this forcibly once. All the way around. 
like this. There's plenty of room to get in there. And I'm going to look in here. Okay. Saw a little speck of something. Okay. Now I know that's clean inside there. A little speck of something right there. Get that out of there. Okay. Now. I don't know whether you can see that, but there's a little speck, probably sand or salt, right there. I'm going to get that off. That's what you want to get out. Hairs, don't do this right after you've combed your hair. And I look it all over, and I try to get it in the groove on the back, and just roll it over there. Make sure this is nice and slick. Okay. That's serviced. Now don't wait. If everything is okay because there's stuff floating in the air all the time. The camera is ready to go. We serviced that already. So now we're going to drop the camera back in. A little speck of something there. We're going to close it. Now watch how it goes down goes into this groove and you gotta hold it down and turn this forcibly and it clicks. This is what clicks, this lock. Now I'm going to take the double lock and lock that. However, Diver Lana reminded me that I forgot something. This happens. won't hurt because we're going to do it right away. If you forget, open it up, put it back in. Okay, there's a place made right here for this desiccant pack. That's where it goes. That absorbs any moisture, especially if you do this in an air-conditioned room that's real cold and you take it out in the heat, you're going to get a little moisture in there. Okay, lock it. Lock it. It's ready to go. Now we clean the inside of the lens. This part of the lens right here needs to be cleaned also. Now it's going to get wet, but we want to start with it clean. So, it is ready to go. You don't have to index any of these controls on the back because it tells you in the screen what you're seeing. So when you turn this, I know there's some other cameras, you have to make sure that this and the camera have to line up when you put them together, but this one you don't. So, we've serviced the housing and the camera is ready to go back in to get our pictures taken. Remember, I purchased these at Mosaic Underwater in Vancouver, Canada. And give them a call, contact them on their web page, talk to Ran or Tall, they're excellent people, they're the owners. You can also talk to the people that pop up, I call them the pop up people that will help you out. But get one of these, you'll enjoy it. It's a great camera. If you look at my uh, YouTube page, Dick the Diver, you will see some pictures I've taken this year already from this very camera. So uh, take some great pictures, have fun, get wet, Dick the Diver, out.